We begin this morning with the latest developments on that wild police chase through several Rhode Island communities. A man accused of an armed home invasion and shooting a man during a carjacking set to face a judge this afternoon. The 26-year-old suspect was taken into custody while our cameras were rolling. State police expected to release new details about the arrest later this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright has the new details. This is the man police say was behind it all. The shooting, the carjacking, the two police chases, and the home invasion. A bad guy's been taken off the street for sure. The wild chain of events started in Woonsocket around noon. Police say Abiwa committed an armed home invasion on Dexter Street. Police say they tried to catch up with him, but Abiwa drove away. They attempted a uh, motor vehicle stop. The perpetrator did not stop and it, it ended up in the vehicle pursuit. Police say Abiwa drove to Providence where he crashed his car on Oakland Avenue. Instead of giving up, investigators say Abiwa still tried to get away by shooting a man in the foot and stealing the car he was in. Police say they began chasing Abiwa for the second time. They'll drive as fast as they can with no regard for anybody. Police say they chased Abiwa back to Cumberland and that he was going up to 80 miles an hour on residential streets, eventually crashing on Menden Road. After a search of the car, police say they found materials typically used during a home invasion, like a gun, a holster, and duct tape. The good thing is law enforcement people go home safe, the defendants in custody, and the community safe. Eyewitness News looked through court records and found that this man has a criminal record including charges of eluding police and driving on a suspended license. Abiwa is charged with carrying a pistol without a license, possession of a stolen car, reckless driving leaving the scene of an accident, and operating a car on a suspended license. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this big story. We'll continue to track the new details and bring you the latest information during all of our newscasts. For updates anytime, just head to our website, WPRI.com.